Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to Elizabeth Bourne following her official appointment as the Prime Minister of France. His Royal Highness wished her success in carrying out her duties and further progress and prosperity for France. The Representatives Council Speaker for Ziyad Zainal met the European Parliament Human Rights Subcommittee Chairwoman Marie Arena. The meeting reviewed the latest developments related to the steps, strategies, programs and initiatives launched by the Kingdom in the field of human rights. The Speaker stressed that the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King has established human rights protection, expanded frameworks related to freedom, democracy and tolerance and spread a culture of peace co peaceful coexistence. The two parties discussed ways to further develop relations between Bahrain and the EU. The Representatives Council Speaker Fozia bin Abdullah Zainal met with Vice Chair Delegation for Relations with the Arab Peninsula, Mark Tarabella, at the European Parliament. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain, under the directors of His Majesty the King, is keen to use parliamentary diplomacy to build friendly relations, to enhance cooperation with friendly parliaments, and she noted the importance of communication between Bahrain and the European Parliament, enhancing cooperation and upgrading the roles of joint work to achieve common interest. Dar Vice Chair praise the growing relations between Bahrain and the European Parliament, stressing the aspiration to enhance partnership and communication. He affirmed that the European Parliamentarian's impressions on Bahraini delegation's recent visits is positive and motivating for further coordination. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al Naimi, paid a visit to a number of central correction committees in different schools and confirmed that the ministry has harnessed all its capabilities to ensure the smooth running of the comprehensive application, which are the final exams for the second semester of the current academic year. The minister added that the royal speech of His Majesty the King at the beginning of the pandemic was the best motive to continue the work in these exceptional circumstances. In addition to the continuous support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister that contributed to the ministry's achievements. The minister said that the ministry is confident that this stage will be completed in a desired manner with the efforts of its cadres who have proven their ability to activate and invest in the digital system in an outstanding manner. Under the patronage of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, the Information Systems Directorate at the Ministry, in cooperation with Bahrain Experts Company, launched the e-commerce champions overseas program. The distinguished companies gathered the, to launch the program abroad to share their experiences with more than 70 companies and institutions participating in the program. The program includes workshops specialized in the field of expertise of companies and institutions on e-commerce and exports and will address the experience of the company or institution institution in the field of export through e-commerce and the solutions that have been employed to raise the standards of its products and services as well as how to face challenges that may occur. The heads of the permanent committees in the Representatives Council affirmed that the fifth legislative term is considered an exceptional one given the two challenges it faced, the coronavirus pandemic and the economic situation. They reviewed the most prominent achievements made during the fifth legislative term and praised the performance of the General Secretariat of the Council and the great effort it made for the success of the Council's work. They also praised the constructive cooperation with the Shura Council and the many achievements that were reflected in the legislative field in addition to the joint cooperation and coordination with the executive authority. The Supreme Council for the Environment and the National Institution for Human Rights organized a panel discussion on the occasion of the Arab Human Rights Day. The event aims to introduce the human right to a healthy environment, the most important national environmental legislation, and the role of the efforts of government agencies in promoting sustainable development. The head of the National Institution for Human Rights stressed that the organization of this event comes from the belief in the necessity of establishing broad partnerships with various sectors in Bahrain to achieve the desired goals. The acting department of monitoring and environmental protection pointed out the importance of the role of the government sector in implementing the strategic plan set by the kingdom and the importance of cooperation between various sectors. The 29th Annual Middle East Petroleum and Gas Conference 2022 concluded where the sessions reviewed all matters related to the current conditions in the oil market. The conference attracted a number of experts and specializes in the field of oil and gas who discussed all the challenges facing the sector. The sessions discussed important topics specialized in energy markets, Middle East trade and price transformation, in addition to the prospects for trading liquefied natural gas, future fuels and energy transition, in addition to a number of topics directly related to the oil sector. 
sector. Well, this conference is unique because it's the first big international meeting where people are meeting in person. Uh, MPGC was not uh, was held virtually for the past two years, so everybody for the first time uh, is able to meet face to face. And in these conferences, many uh, deals are negotiated behind the scene. Uh, so the conf sp speeches are given. But behind the scene, lots of uh, meetings and deals are negotiated. So this provides the forum for that kind of thing to happen. The conclusion of this uh, conference was uh, amazing because, as you know, for the last three years, uh, we haven't been able to come all together as a community to discuss what's going on in, in the market. Uh, we attended some virtual conferences but nothing like being in person, in contact with our colleagues and peer, exchanging ideas and, and views in light of what's going on in the energy market with the Russian-Ukrainian crisis. It was great to have uh, the Minister of, uh, of Oil and of Petroleum of the, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Bahrain, of Iraq, uh, it was an amazing, really, opportunity to learn and, and have uh, the views from the decision makers in the energy space. The company has been discussing a lot of wide variety, especially the volatility and security of supply of the region, um, ranging from oil and gas, um, energy transition, uh, the volatility around LNG as well. Um, main conclusion, I think, saying that Realistically, there is a lot of need of investment in the energy market. OPEC alone cannot manage and balance the market without signaling, price signaling from the consumer across the world. So I think OPEC will try to do the best they can. However, the global market would need to send a price signal that the demand for infrastructure, for oil and gas will be there so OPEC can invest in their own resources. The field visits of the Inspection Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to various markets in Bahrain revealed the availability and diversity of food commodities. These visits aim to verify compliance with laws and regulations, as well as ensuring the validity of promotions and ensuring that there are no violations of commercial fraud. The Assistant Undersecretary for Control and Resources called on all consumers to report any violations or indications regarding the scarcity of goods, especially food, by communicating with the Inspection Department or the Consumer Protection Department at the Ministry. The Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing a wave of dust today due to strong winds. The Meteorological Department of the Ministry of Transport and Communications advised people to take precautions and to avoid outdoor and marine activities, as well as traveling by land on high or highways. It is expected that the density of dust will gradually decrease tomorrow, while the rise of dust will continue until next Friday, in light of the continuing winds.